finally at equilibrium full economy and I know that you've been through a lot of videos to actually get here. Now we started out with this equation and we slowly went through all the variables, we knew what they mean and now we're finally going to put them together. So we know that C is, uh, is CO plus BYD when we fully expand it. We know that I is actually I Oh, we know that G is actually GO, that X is XO, and that M is uh, little m big Y. And we learned how to we learned how to rearrange these variables to make them more readable, like so: CO plus IO plus GO plus XO uh, plus B. And we also know that YD. YD is actually 1 minus TY, disposable income, right? So disposable income is what we, our income after we pay all our taxes. So 1 minus T is the, the amount of taxes that we, uh, that we keep from Y, that is our total income that we make. And to go further, uh, M minus Y. And we can further refine this as such CO plus IO plus GO plus XO plus uh, plus B times 1 minus T minus M bracket Y. We just took out the Y, uh, we just factored out the Y to get this uh, equation here. And Comparing this to our to our to our formula that we've talked about over and over again, that AE is equal to AE naught plus ZY. Without telling you, I'm sure you've already guessed what AE naught and Z is actually is what their values are right now. That AE naught is equal is actually equal to C naught plus I naught plus G naught plus X naught and that Z that Z is actually uh, B times 1 minus T uh, minus M and that is our full economy and this is gonna be the end of the video in the next video I'm gonna give you a short example to again solidify the concepts that we have